Hey folks, Jackta here. In Baldur's Gate 3, when your hero or companions aren't quite cutting it, or maybe you've just started and you're feeling a little bit unsure about your class choice, don't worry. Respecking is the answer. And you can do it basically right away. There is a catch though. You must embark on a very early quest to find a very specific NPC. But fear not, because today I'm going to guide you through it. With just one click and 100 gold, you can redo all of your skill points, transforming your character into a completely different class, or even subclass. So let's dive right in and master the art of respecking from the very beginning so you don't miss out. All right, so to respect our character, as soon as you arrive on the Sword Coast after the introduction, you will arrive on this desolated, devastated beach. And once you've found Shadowheart and you walk around, you will almost effective immediately come across an ancient door and unlock a waypoint for the overgrown ruins. Now, you generally cannot access this door, but this is the ruin. We need to go in to find the NPC who will unlock respecking at our camp. So what you'll need to do is follow up the treacherous hills, go around, kill a few enemies in the process that I've already done, and then wander over to the roadside cliffs. You probably are going to meet Gale here, so recruit him because you'll need the help and then continue marching on to the east, and you're gonna come across this chapel. This is how you enter into the ruin. So you'll have a few NPCs over here, indulge their conversation, try and persuade them or run away, deal with them, whatever you wanna do, and you will see that there is some kind of crane up here in this area. You're gonna wanna go up here, and then you are going to want to shoot down this, and it will then drop down that crate, smashing a hole through the ground, to which you can jump through. Ultimately, you will then have to go through this entire dungeon, plowing away through plenty of different enemies. There are a few tricks and puzzles that I'll let you work out for yourself as you navigate through the complexities of this dungeon. Again, more and more puzzles in the dank crypt. Until you eventually arrive at this chamber and there will be more baddies to fight. Dungeon's relatively easy, uh, it's something that I did pretty much straight away. Once you press this button, I'm pretty sure that's when the undead gets summoned and you'll begin your fight. And then, once finished, go inside this room and click on this sarcophagus, to which the NPC withers will engage and start talking to you. Speak to him, no matter what you do, it doesn't really matter, but give him a chance, indulge a few of his whims, and he will then go to your camp after the conversation. Make sure you loot the rest of the area, and you will then be able to exit out of the door that we originally saw at the start. It's actually one of the first things I recommend you do pretty much straight away. All right, after you've done that, go back to your camp. He appeared pretty much straight away from me and he should be over here. Indulge with us for a hot second. He'll have some long conversation about his identity and fate and all that kind of jazz. Keep on indulging him. You might have to take another break and then eventually he introduced the idea of hiring alternative companions known as hirelings. He also entertained the idea of resurrecting companions and finally he introduced the idea of respecting your character. Withers has quite a few uses for you and that's why it is fundamental you get him as early as possible so you can really use best advantages of him. The only catch for respecting is it will cost you 100 gold each time. Once you pay up Withers, you are then given access to change your class system, going from cantrips to subclasses to your deity to your abilities, at least that's me for a cleric, but you can fundamentally go through every single class. Check it out, give it a test, and the best thing is you can do this at any level, so I'm currently a level 5 cleric, I could try out a level 5 paladin, get an oath going, enjoy that subclass, respec a little bit. It really does give you the full freedom to explore a different class at really any given point. You can do this for your companions. I did this for Shadowheart. I made her go from a trickery cleric into a war cleric and it was brilliant. Definitely the much desired outcome I wanted for her as I was already playing a cleric and I wanted her to do more DPS damage and that really suited her perfectly as a war tempest. She was able to buff weapons and make massive 
damage. But all in all, this is how you respec. Make sure that you go and see withers. Utilize this as best as you can. You may not use it. I didn't think I would, but if you want for experimenting and trying to really refine that character, especially in your first playthrough, I guarantee this will be mightily helpful for you. All in all, that will do it from me. Let me know down below what class you are playing in Baldur's Gate 3. I would love to hear all of your thoughts on this fantastic RPG down below. Until the next one, I have been Jackdaw, and I should go. Whoa, 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 whoa.